Attention is in short supply these days, yet it is important to executive function, doing well in school, and overall life success. Hi, I'm Jeff Coleman, and this is Attention, Ladies and Gentlemen, a show for teachers and parents who want to learn more about attention and what we can do to help our children be more successful in school and life. So if I could have your attention, we will get started. Hey, before we get started today, I wanted to tell you about a fun way to train attention skills from our show's sponsor, Brainly. Where you look and where you are planning to look is where you are placing your attention. The Attention Arcade leverages this connection to train attention skills with specially designed video games that children control using only their eyes. You can learn more by going to attentionarcade.com. Hey everyone, welcome to the Attention Ladies and Gentlemen podcast. This is our inaugural episode and I'll be serving as your guest host for today. We're gonna get to know Jeff Coleman. Jeff, welcome to your show. Thank you, great to be here. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Sure, so um, I've been interested in attention for the last about five years and it's, it's kind of been a journey as I learned more about it and got deeper into um, training attention skills. And so we decided to you know, start a podcast to get some of this information out to parents and teachers and anyone who's interested in attention. So could you share a little bit more about your story and how you got where you are today with this podcast? Sure. So my personal why is that I like to help people reach their potential with less struggle. And I've been doing that. I've run my own business, uh, other businesses. And um, but about eight years ago, um, my wife, who's a researcher and studies eye movements and attention, came home and shared some of the research that was going on in their lab and what great results they were having with it and how they were able to train attention skills. And this really made me want to learn more about it and, and figure things out related to attention because our youngest son struggled with attention. He used to lose his work, forget deadlines. He just couldn't, you know, and, and this is a fourth-ish grader. You know, you kind of expect some of it, but, you know, he really, he really struggled in school. Even though he could do all the work, we saw that the attention skills were really something that made it much harder for him to be successful. And the, the study I mentioned was my wife had done a study around video games that um, you control with your eyes. And when they started getting the results of it, um, it was just clear to me that this was an opportunity to help millions of children. And so that is what led to the business we have called Brain Leap. But it also just um, help me understand as we've gone through the journey that a lot of people really don't mm -hmm. understand attention and how we can um, more effectively uh, build those skills and be more successful, help children be more successful in school and in life. Helping children become more successful in school and in life. Now, this is the attention ladies and gentlemen, podcast. What, what kind of things have you done with Brain Leap and how is that going to come into the show? So the games that um, were created in the lab and that we've since commercialized are all about training attention skills. And you use an eye tracker to play the games. You actually don't use the mouse or keyboard. You only use your eyes to control the games. And this means that kids really learn what focus is. They really get to practice it because we actually move our eyes three to four times per second. And we're, you know, blissfully unaware of it most of the time. But as you start to work your attention skills and learn more about it, you can learn to control your attention and you can practice this and you can do it lots of different ways. Um, I've actually been meditating for the last about three years and have really found what a huge impact that makes on my attention skills. Mm. But we that, that's very difficult for children. And so we're I'm going to talk a lot about 
how different strategies can help kids with their attention. Um, and whether that's in school, whether that's, you know, paying it to doing their homework, um, you know, there are a lot of opportunities for that. And we've learned a lot over the uh, past five years and really want to share that with the audience and, you know, bring on guests who can help clarify more about attention. To, to bring on guests that can help clarify more about attention. What kinds of experts, people, guests will you have on? Yeah, so we definitely will have experts. Um, we're tied in tightly to the science community around attention. Um, so we will have people who've been studying attention for many years who um, are actually our first guest will be uh, my wife, who is a researcher and has been studying eye movements and attention for about 25 years. But we will also bring on other guests. And I think it's really good to uh, other types of guests. And it's really good to understand things, for example, from a student who's really had a lot of challenges, but has succeeded in, um, you know, they're made it through college and even through advanced degrees, as well as there are people who run um, in the, the Boston area here, mm -hmm. run ADHD centers, getting some of their perspective on how we build executive function skills and what strategies there are, um, you know, independent of our games of building the attention skills that allow kids to get through school, be successful and, and really, you know, leverage the there are a lot of benefits sometimes with um, they, they come along with the uh, attention challenges. So we want to keep those benefits while we lear also learn how to learn the strategies to accommodate those challenges and, you know, be as successful as possible. Yeah, I, I, I'm hearing that come up a lot is that you, you, you really have a focus on helping kids or those that struggle with the tension become more successful through this. And, and it sounds like the kinds of people that you'll be having on experts from the scientific community, um, all kinds of research, really fascinating angles and ideas will be brought to the table. Um, but also um, people that have struggled with this themselves and and come out on top. And I think those kinds of yeah. stories are going to be very interesting. Uh, what about uh, educators and teachers and um, more sort of more sort of front lines kind of uh, people working with uh, these children? Absolutely. And, you know, finding the educators who actually have had success and have strategies that can be used and shared with other educators. That is also um, someone we definitely want to have on the show and really learn from them what's working in the classroom because there's a lot of good theory out there. But when it you know push comes to shove, it's what actually works when you're in the classroom. You have 25, 30 kids in a in a class, and you need to find the strategies that can keep kids engaged and learning in that environment. We think that's really important. Now, Jeff, uh, what do you hope um, happens with this show? What, what do you think is a net positive result? We really hope that people learn. And, and actually, I wanted to share um, some of the core values we put together for the show, because I think it really gets to the heart of what we're trying to do. The first is that we want everyone to know that attention is trainable and nearly everyone can improve their attention skills. It's not something you're born with. It's not something that's fixed. You can definitely learn these skills and be um, have much stronger attention skills. The second is that individuals do better in life with better attention skills. There's a study out of the out of Oregon State University when they measured attention skills in four year olds. This was a predictor of whether they would graduate from college by age 25. It was a there was almost a 50 percent higher success rate of children who had strong attention skills when they were young compared to those who had weaker attention skills in terms of graduating. So this is not something that, you know, is just about elementary school or anything. This is really defines a, a child's trajectory for life. and then. The, the third thing is 
how powerful self-efficacy is. We really want to help parents and teachers really learn how to support their child so they can feel they're doing it. And, you know, there are medications out there that help with attention. And, you know, it's great that those exist for those who really need it. But that doesn't make a child feel successful. It doesn't make them feel like they can do it themselves. Mm. And so that's a really key component of what we want to help convey is how do you support a child so that they do feel successful and that I can do this and I can still be successful with, you know, with my classes in math class, with reading, even when they do struggle sometimes. And that is going to make them, you know, much more successful in the long term because they're not going to feel life happens to them, but that they get to impose what they want onto life and really go where they want to go. That's awesome. Those are some great values. Now, is there anything else that you'd like to share or anything else on your mind um, so that we can get to know you a little bit better, Jeff? Well, you know, this, I see myself as an educator. I come from a family of educators. Um, both of my parents were teachers. My father-in-law is a teacher. Um, so this is really my chance to give back. And I, and I have taught in the past in, um, in uh, adult education classes. But, you know, I really want to get this out to more people. And this is really exciting to me because this is a chance for a lot of people to learn about something they may not know much about. And yet attention is so foundational to executive function, to ability to read, to staying on track when you, you know, there are distractions around you. And so I really think this is a great forum to get the knowledge out there and to really educate people about what's possible around attention and how they can support their students and their children um, as they are progressing through life. Well, thanks so much, Jeff, for giving us a, some more information and, and setting the tone and, and, and sharing what the values are going to be for this podcast. I know I'm really excited to, to see where this goes. And I'd like to encourage anyone that's listening today to subscribe and come along for the journey if you enjoy any of the content, to also leave a review and provide your feedback to help us get better content to you. Any closing words, Jeff? Um, just thank you for your attention. And we look forward to making this a fun podcast to learn a lot on. Thanks for giving me your attention for another show. We hope you learned something that you can apply right away. If you enjoyed the show, please rate us wherever you listen to your podcasts so that other people can more easily find the podcast. And remember to subscribe so you don't miss an episode.